that's recording. What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Logan Cole's Convo's podcast. Today, I'm here uh, with the one and only Bradley Driver. Is that how you say it? That's how you say it. That's perfect. You nailed that. I nailed it. I was recently on his podcast uh, to spin some shit, and now he's come over to mine to spin some shit. And... I'm gonna let him introduce himself because he does the probably like the best introduction of people that I've heard, like close to Tom Billu from uh, whatever that one's called. Um, but yeah, we were talking yesterday about keeping people uh, kind of like entertained. So try and keep it under a minute as quick as you can. Three, two, one. Let people know who you are. Standing six feet tall from Wollongong, 25 years of age, um, past life as a real estate agent, now a full-time podcast host or as some would call it, unemployed, and just loving life, just challenging myself, doing a little bit of stuff for my charity event, 42 for CF, and just trying to share a story and have some sort of positive and powerful impact on people's lives, whether that be inspirational, educational, or just pure entertainment. So here we are, guesting wow. on the Convo podcast. That, uh, that rolls off your tongue so much better than it would roll off mine. <laughs> I was listening to a podcast this morning, bro, and it was, uh, you know, Nick Bear? Oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. For, what, full oh, savage. Yeah. So he's talking about savage. like he's talking about how he had to just do his book, like do his uh, audio book for yeah. his new book or whatever. And he's like, every paragraph, the director would stop me like four times because he goes, <laughs> it's pretty much like mine. My words roll into each other, and I full just sound <laughs> like a full idiot. And then like they roll into each other. I don't finish my words. And then I'll go off on a tangent and not know where I went. Like, I was like, oh, fuck, what did it, why did that start? Because I'll, like, go off on one path, get to this fork in the road, and then I just start going down there. So, yeah. Guys, I posted a reel on Insta, like, late last night. It was just me and a couple of the boys. Yeah, yeah. Just going for a walk down the beach in the morning at sunrise. And in it, it kind of looked like we're just having a candid laugh. Like, yeah, yeah. like a fake candid laugh for the camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But re- <laughs> in real life. We were pissing ourselves because one of the boys, Don's, mate, he, we are talking about like fake language, like words that don't even make sense. And yeah, I swear yeah. to God, he had fake language down to a T to the point where he was rattling off these fake words yeah. with such fluency that I was like, you have spent hours practicing this. What do you mean fake words? Don't give me an example. Like, you'd be like, shabba dabba doo or something like that. Yeah, like, yeah. But like rolling it into a conversation. And I was just like, he, he was too crisp not to have been practiced and rehearsed. So you're saying he was using words that meant something and you could kind of pick off what it meant? Like, not at all. Like, okay, not at right, all. Right, right. We were speaking about like when you're fucking exhausted in the morning and sometimes you're not as mentally sharp as you'd like to think you would be later mm. on in the day after you've woken up or you've had a Mine coffee. Mine doesn't improve from when I wake up. Yeah. yeah. I'm pretty I just I'm stay pretty awake. I, uh, the coffee keeps me awake. I don't actually like get mentally any better. You know, you know what my <laughs> worst one is? When like... In the middle of winter, because I like to try and swim me around. Like, I'll just go for a swim after a run. It's hard sometimes, bro. <laughs> like, I, I, I to touch be, the water, I'm like, fuck, To be nah. honest, I'm pretty good with cold water, because I cold shower twice a day at home anyways. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I fucking, I'm not great with hot water. Like, hot water fucking bugs me a bit, flusters me. <laughs> what does it say? What does it I don't know, bro. It's just like, it's like fucking here, <laughs> go, can't like, start yeah. sweating straight away. I don't get it. Or trying like, to cool down after a hot shower. I get what yeah. you mean. I get where you're coming from. I just like... Cold showers, I don't know. I, I can maybe like turn the hot down a little bit and it's like to the point of cold, but like cold showers straight from the get-go, I don't know. Yeah, I can't that's just me, man. And like, so I'm basically what I was getting to though, as we do, we go on a tangent. <laughs> I get out of the water in winter and it's cold as fuck. Yeah, yeah. And like your mouth gets a little bit frozen and you're trying to say words and pronounce them properly, but you can't. Yeah, yeah. That's the one time that I struggle in the morning, like when it's cold as fuck. I feel like my mouth is frozen in time. Yeah. And I'm trying to have a conversation, but I can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. It's like almost, um, when does other stuff happen? When you, like, try and use, like, your hands when it's really cold and you, like, actually can't. Have you ever, like, got out Texting. of, like, the ocean? Oh, my God. 100%. Yeah. Because you know how, like, obviously we get so, um, we get so good at texting. It's so quick now. Mm. That you can just tell how slow. And you're like, my thumbs are, like, not it's working. It's like, now I'm you like, know how your parents like, feel. Parents, yeah. you know how your pets feel with no opposable thumbs. Yeah, like, it's yeah. like it, it may as well like use like yeah. I wish my dad texts and I'm like, fuck me, dead mate, just pass me the phone, I'll write it for yeah, you. Yeah. It stresses me out because it's so slow. My dad, my dad types do like with his pointer finger. <laughs> yeah, index like, finger. Oh, what are you doing? Like my dad's thumb, my dad's actual like index finger is like the size of my thumb. Easy, bro. Like yeah. he's just got these massive hands. He's just like 
I got the new uh, iPhone. I just go, did you get a Max? He just goes, nah, I just go, bro, you're gonna have like the worst time ever, eh? Just get the big screen every time, eh? Or next time, just get like one of those, like, you can get them for like 29 bucks now. That's crazy. Like I saw like in uh, Kmart, they were selling like those those phones that you would have probably got for like a couple hundred bucks a couple of years ago. Yeah. It like has the dial pad though, like the yeah. number pad. And it's like, oh, now buy for 19, down from 29. And it's like, bro, what? Like you could use it as a work phone and just get calls on it for 19 bucks, okay. man. Do you remember back in the day where it was like a bit of a flex, like now everyone's got the iPhone, like, and it's maybe rare that a few people have got an Android, like a Samsung. Yeah. But remember back in the day, like I remember being maybe like 11, 12, mm. and everyone had a different phone. You either like maybe you went a bit up class and got the, the Blackberry, See, or I you never, had a slide. Or I, was al- I was always like, so heaps of people from school, I remember, especially girls, had like this, like turn it on its side, slide, slide up, up, and it's got the massive pad. I never had that. Um, I got a. I, I always had the Nokia slide up phone. I had that. Which was. It was mad. It was skits. It was like it was great. It was great. It was great. And, um, Bluetooth, you made a song. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. fuck, bro. Bluetooth, then, you made a bit of flow rider. Oh, uh, fine. And like, uh, um, hey. there was this one song. I can't remember the fuck. It was like. The. Uh, Let me see your hips swing. What was that? What was that um, song, bro? Is it Savage? Yeah, oh, yeah. that's it, bro. Yeah. My, I just remember, like, I'd get, like, my mate. I, I remember the specific mate. Shout out to Jaden who, like, sent me that. He used to have, like, all the stuff. Um, and then I remember, like, touch phones came in. I think the first touch screen phone that I got was a Samsung. Yeah. And, like, you had to put the memory card into the side of it. Mine might have been a, um... Oh, fuck, there was this weird-ass brand going around for a minute, and I thought I was, it was a bit of a flex. Because <laughs> I had something different. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, just rookie era. It's just, like, it just, like, never never came to fruition, that brand, hey? It was just, oh, like, bro, like, like there, was, there was a couple of them but back in the day, like, yeah. a few battlers, but, man, like, now, if you don't have an iPhone, you're, you're kidding yourself. Even, like, you know when people try and talk up Samsung? Yeah. Like, they go, oh, the, well, yeah. 20, the 20 zoom on it's sick. I'm like, what are you doing? Spying been, on fucking chicks or like on Rogan where it's like, oh, it can take photos of the moon properly. You know that? Have you yeah, seen him talk about can. that? It's like, yeah. wait, when, when am I taking photos of the moon? Yeah. Who cares? You know what I'm saying? You, you know what, but I got a little beef with the moon, right? Yeah. Because the other night it was like the pink moon. Yeah, I saw so many photos, right. bro. I didn't even know, man. And everyone's going, oh, I'll take a photo of it. And I was like, <laughs> oh, I don't want to take a photo of it because it looks sick, right? It never looks anywhere near as good in a photo. No. Even if it's not zoomed. It's like, is that even pink? <laughs> like, yeah. Did you, like, it's not, like it rehash like a photo that, from a couple of weeks yeah, ago? Yeah, it looks like... You know what I also don't get about the moon? A little bit of a beef. I've got a beef for the moon, right? Yeah, yeah. It sounds like it. Right. We've got two things now. <laughs> when the sun goes down, the motherfucker goes down. When it's night, it's night, right? What does it stay up? The like, moon, sometimes it's just the sun's up and it's seven o'clock and the moon's just And the moon's still there. It's like, like it's fucking clocking over time. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like double shift or something. I don't get that. Like, I don't know. Like, the moon's never up and then the sun's up. Like... Just the government forgetting to turn the projector off, oh, right? <laughs> Bruh. Anyway. So, we're, we're like, here today to just, like... Well, I, I get, like, we're honestly, uh, obviously, like... Spitting the shit, but uh, we also wanted to talk about. Well, we're going to talk about like the like like my TikTok stuff, but I just wanted someone else to be on here, so then you guys didn't have to just like watch me talk or listen to me talk because I've got heaps of podcasts like that, and I'm just like, who's listening to this shit? Yeah. Like even like I remember these ones like when I was doing my comp prep, and I was like, why? Like it'd be like a motivational one, and I'd fucking ran for like 20 minutes, and it's just me, and then people are like, there's like 80 people listen to it, and I'm just going, kind of going, bro, who's listening to that? Like, yeah. what the fuck? And I'm like, sometimes I like wrote out the whole podcast, and I just read it, yeah, like two pages or something, and then yeah. I'd like, or I would have like 10 talking points, and I'd do it, and I'd go down the line, and then sometimes I would like do the first t- talking point. And because when I was writing the list, I would get these ideas in order. So I would go off on a tangent and then I would have already covered a line that's like three down. And then I'd get there and be stuck. It's like, and I'd be like oh, the fuck. Book. Oh, uh, like, yeah. yeah. I'm like, oh, I don't know, man. But um, yeah, so I had to get someone else on here. That, that's, see, I didn't go off on a tangent enough to forget what I was saying, yeah, man. Good on you. Um, but uh, yeah, we're here with our, our Pepsi Maxes. Shout uh, out to Pepsi. Brad, Brad nearly didn't get one. I was like, come on, bro. Come oh, just on, to, be, to be honest. Why, didn't you, why weren't you going to have one? Because I thought you were going to rip out a full sugar on me. And I was like, I don't know if the mud guts can handle that right now. But 
nothing is full sugar in here. Yeah. I saw this thing, uh, Max Tuning put up a, a poll just before. It was like, would you prefer all energy drinks to be zero sugar? And I like clicked yes. And it was like 49% of them said, no, that would be stupid. And the other ones were like, yes. I'm like, why would you want everything to be for? Uh, people are such like Nazis about like artificial sweeteners and stuff like that. But I'm like, think of the other fucking stuff you're eating, bro. Like, I, what? Personally, I don't get it. I think it tastes exactly the same. In fact, I think... It's not the taste, I don't uh, think. Bro. It's the chemicals, bro, they're worried about. It's like, legit, you're buying a fucking servo pie and then worried about the artificial sweetener yeah. in, like, an energy drink. It's a, like, uh, yeah, 7-Eleven oh, $2 <laughs> pie with organic beef mints from fucking Queenstown. Fuck off. Drink a Pepsi Max. <laughs> oh. Get out of your own head, eh? Oh. I don't get it because I think... For, I can't even drink a full sugar Coke anymore. Or oh. Pepsi. Sorry, I, I don't want to say the... The Coke word, you know, we're here with Pepsi. Yeah, Shout we're here with and they, the yeah, they sponsor us too, can. Um, so. But I reckon it like it coats your mouth yeah. with like a real sugary, like, feels like your fucking carpet in your mouth. Bro, have you, you know how you don't drink? Have yeah. you drank before? Um, so I don't drink because I got liver disease, but. I had I had probably a sip of my dad's beer when I was nine. Okay, so that okay, yeah, so that, that could be pretty much like you you don't you've never drunk. You've never drunk like and like a sip of wine on a Tuscan villa, and so, it was fucking rank anyway. So yeah, I was yeah. Like, Wine's a very acquired taste. Like yeah. you have to be like, oh, that was pretty shit. Oh, that's better. It's better. Oh, okay, now I can taste the differences in wine. Yeah. Otherwise, it all just tastes the same. So I'm always like I'm always fresh when I'm out. Yeah, yeah. Um, I I was just gonna bring up the point of. Uh, the next day after a night on vodka Red Bulls back when I was like 18, 19, and you wake up and you have a layer of just shit in your mouth from like the sugar and you mm. can feel it on your teeth, you can almost yeah. scratch it off. And, um, Not nice. But like, I, I get what you mean uh, with that, uh, but I also like, I'll go to like Caesars and I get like a dirty feed and I'll just like, you know what, full sugar C word, uh, will just like yeah. go down sweet. It's like, why I get the Pepsi? I always drink Pepsi Max. Like Pepsi Max is like in my fridge. I'll grab them all the time. Like sometimes it's like, oh, I don't, I don't want to have like a beer tonight. I'll just like have a Pepsi Max. It kind of like satisfies that craving sometimes. I've, uh, I've been a bit of a fiend with that lately. Yeah. Like the Coke's been. Oh, I said the word. I see, I think see, see, word. I think Coke is different, bro. Coke Zero actually does fucking taste different to normal Coke, but Pepsi Max yeah. is so close to. I'll, I'll, I'll agree with you there. Yeah. Um, and I don't know, it's just, I think, for me, it's like, it just makes more sense, right? Like, I eat a lot of food, and I think that's it. So, like, I'm a big yeah, eater. I don't do that. <laughs> so, I'm the biggest eater, bro. So, yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah. if I can, like, miss 30, 40 grams of sugar in a can of soft drink, yeah. I'm like, I'll stay away from that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to save that, like, that calorie for, not that I count calories or anything, but I'm just conscious. Yeah, you like, can kind of I've like been, look at it and be I've like, been a dad, oh, I've had a dad rig before. I don't want to go back there. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, 100%. But, um, yeah. <coughs> what was our point? We are getting to your TikToks. <laughs> yeah, okay. So let, let's explain that. That's what you're all here for. That's what the clickbaiting title is. So, like, we'll uh, yeah. get into that. Um, but, like, how, like... It, it, yeah, it was like, I, I don't even know like what I wanted to say about it. I just know people will be interested because I could be like, I could sell like probably a course like tomorrow and be like, hey, my, my thing went to 14.2 million. These are the strategies that you have to do. Hey, put a, make sure you put the viral sound on it and turn it down so then you can't hear it because using a viral sound will make it go more viral and stuff like that. Mm. But then like the, the video that I put up like just before I was showing you, it's like nearly at 70,000 views. And it was the brush your hair one. Guys, if you don't know, uh, I just posted another one. I made some shirts up just to, like, test out, like, the waters of, like, selling a product. Because, like, I was trying to, like, monetize, like, the viewage. Because me and Brad were actually talking about this yesterday. And I was, like, sitting there. And what, what was the topic? It was, like, if a million people came over and wanted a piece of you, yeah. what do you have there? And it's, like, nothing. I had, like, <laughs> a, I had a real in-depth conversation with a, a speaking coach. And by speaking coach, I mean someone who helps creatives, helps presenters, hosts build like strong businesses off the back of using their talent to speak and get behind a mic or stand on a stage. And that's kind of a transition period for me where I'm looking to really monetize what I do and, and build business foundations. And he posed a question to me. He said, your talent, your content, everything is there. But if 2 million people found Brad Driver tomorrow, how could you make money off them? 
if they come across your Instagram or your podcast or your YouTube, what platform or foundation would you have to monetize on that attention? And it's a great question because I think in a world where there are so many content creators and people who are driven towards creating viral videos, and you know, I think most people would be lying if they said they wouldn't get excited about a video going viral and, and that prospect that, you know, off the back of either inspirational, educational, or just pure entertaining mm. content, you could make some form of business or living. Yeah. But you need the foundations to do that. There's a, I think there's almost like a little bit of a misconception because in Australia, there's no such thing as like a creator fund, which mm. there is in America. A what? In America, they've got a thing called a creator fund off TikTok fund. where they get paid for fund. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's like they get paid for views. You don't, once they hit certain levels, you don't get that here in Australia. So it's purely endorsement based, sponsor based through the product sales. So like inspired unemployed getting a gig with uh, a company or something. With Canadian like that. Club or something. Right, like that. okay. Um, that's, so, ah, okay, yeah. right. So that's why there's probably more like people doing that for a job over there. 100%. 100% because there's stuff. And I'm not sure whether that's how it's still structured. I know for a long time it was. There was those foundations. But you ask a lot of people in, you know, in Australia and there's this presumption that you can just make a viral video. Like how many people have asked you how much money you made off the back of that? 100% and, but like I knew because I, I made like a viral, like my, viral Milo video and uh, that kind of like, I was super excited about that. Like when I did it when I was like 18 and nothing came of it and it was like, I was like probably... Like, I was bummed about that. So when this happened, yeah, it was exciting, but I knew what it was going to be. Like, I, I knew, like, it would die off yeah. eventually. Like, a lot of... But then, like, okay, I, 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 like, prematurely said it was going to die off because then I got on the news and stuff like that. Like, that was, like... Mm. It, I was, like, oh, like, two days after, I'm, like, oh, this is going to die down. And, oh, then, oh, and, then, and then I got a news article wrote about me. And then, um, and then I go, oh yeah, but like, oh, that's pretty cool. But like, then it's going to die down. And then people tell my parents that they saw mm. me on the news up in Queensland and stuff like that. And, um, heaps of people are like, oh, look, fuck, surely you made money from that. And they're like talking to me like, oh, I'm an idiot. Like, I'm like, yeah. you don't, no. you don't know. Like, you been, <laughs> like, you don't even have analytics turned on on your account. Yeah. Like, you don't have any, like, any idea how anything's working. Yeah. It's like, I, I'm monetizing in the way of like, I'm gaining followers. I'm gaining, um organic it's all organic like that's the crazy thing yeah. about something viral like you build an organic following for like what you want um do you think tiktok's the last place right now with the current social media scape that you can have organic viral exposure it's hard, it's, it's um and, um and off without like a, a major social cause or um some sort of major event behind that video or that post look i had um i had every now and then i'll post like a little uh kind of like meme to my instagram and uh i posted this once and it was like a photo of this chick who could like she did this snatch and she sat down and her bum was like nearly touching the floor she's directly upright it wasn't very heavy but her mobility was insane and i just went that's kind of like what you think you're going to be like. And I was like, oh, fuck this. I'm going to like, I, I took a screenshot of my first ever snatch, which was the ugliest thing I've like ever seen. Like I had a belt on, had the lifting shoes and yeah. I couldn't even get below depth. And I'm like holding it back behind my head. It was super ugly. And I like go, um, uh, like it was like, um, what's it called? Something versus reality. It's like expectation versus reality yeah. of being Olympic lifter. Yeah. And it was like me like that and then that. And the photo, because I filmed it on like my iPhone 5 or something, the photo of me was terrible. And the other one of her was just a screenshot. And then I've just got, I posted it on Twitter and then screenshotted the Twitter, like the photo with the writing on my Twitter page. And I posted that and it got like 600 likes. On Twitter? On, no, 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 on, um, I, I barely I use Twitter. So. I only use Twitter to do, um, like, uh, like make memes pretty much. Okay. Um, but if I go down, I just want to just like to refresh my, I don't want to butcher it and be like, oh, I got so many fucking likes, you know what I mean? But, um, it was like one of those things where I was like, oh, that was unbelievable. Like just, I did it like, didn't run an ad on it, anything like that. Oh, there she, um, insights. Oh no, I got nearly 1,500 likes, 432 like send, 74. 
Fuck, uh, that's huge. 74 yeah. saves, 42 comments. Um, and then people stole it, bro. Because um, because I couldn't put the whole photo in, I couldn't, couldn't, I couldn't put my name. I couldn't put my name, like keep my name on Instagram up in the top corner. Oh, you're kidding. Yeah, so that's like, it's... Bro, right, look at that. That's huge, yeah. It's massive for like, not... Especially the shares. Yeah, the shares and uh, the reach of 42,000. Like that's pretty. That's pretty crazy for just like, ninety five percent weren't following. Ooh. Like that. It, but it's like it's funny. Like I guess I use hashtags. It's the first time I've ever seen hashtags actually work. From hashtags, thirty seven thousand five hundred. Oh wow. Yeah. It was just like weightlifting, snatch mobility. Because who actually searches hashtags? Like they don't. But it puts it into their explore page. Yeah, but I, I talked to my I talked to my mate, um, and he will like send me these videos. I go, are you fucking um, following this person? Because we like we gotta rip on people a little bit. Like he just said, and we yeah, have a laugh about yeah. it. Um, I, I'm assuming people do that about me as well. So yeah, probably. One I do yeah. it about other I, people. Probably <laughs> um, me too. But uh, yeah, like I, well, that, he sent them to me, and I go, bro, why are you following this person? And he'll be like, oh no, I see it in my explore page, and I'm like. So your whole explore page is fucked up with this kind of stuff because you keep sending it to me because yeah. they think you like it yeah. and then like makes my um, yeah. explore page come up with them as well. Yeah. But like I, a lot of people scroll their explore page. I barely touch it. I yeah, barely I mean, open the explore page. The only time I touch it now is if I'm trying to find like a different line to sort of go down with the podcast. Like if I'm thinking... Okay, I want to guess it's maybe a little bit different to what I've had or there's been this little bit of a trend and I want to shake it up. Then yeah. I'll journey into the explore page to see if anything pops out. Yeah, yeah. But mine is just so full of like, and I don't even really follow that many fitness people. Yeah, yeah. But I follow a lot of like athletes and, mm. and I guess sporting personalities. So I think maybe that's where it comes from. But I just think fitness is still so huge on Instagram. Yeah, it's massive. But like... For people that um, look up, follow a couple of car pages, their whole explore page is going to be cars. It's unbelievable. Like we we forget like that. Um, someone that games a lot will have an explore page of people with Twitch screen yeah. like screen grabs and like photos of them like with their new console yeah. and shit like that. We have no idea. We just yeah. think that everyone's is like I don't know. I, I have heaps of like. Uh, like my page would be like sick views, like travel, traveling kind of like um, really nice, like waterfalls and stuff like that. And like yeah. over in Bali, like the best place. And then there'll be like fitness stuff and all that kind of stuff as well. Um, and I just forget, I forget that some people's explore page is not that at yeah. all. Like it, it might be all makeup tutorials or something like that. You yeah. know what I mean? Oh, it's just, yeah. Crazy. It's, it's crazy, isn't it? And I think yeah. TikTok's been just this wave of. It's kind of, it's gone back to like OG Insta days where it's still so fresh and it's still so young. And yeah, still so all the hot chicks get the traction. It's <laughs> back to that, bro. Right. That's like, basically. that's how and they all. Like, you can tell, like you can tell who, like I reckon if you put a group of people into a room, yeah. like you would with picking a fucking criminal out of a fucking line. Yeah. You would pretty quickly be able to pick who's successful on TikTok and who's kind of a flop. Because the guys all look the same. They've all got, like, similar haircuts. Yeah, it's all, like, the like fades skinny, and stuff like that. Skinny dudes, yeah. But then again, like, the mullets are coming through, bro, I heard. Bro, the... I don't know. Like, I think you could be the new wave of TikTok superstar. Bro, I, um... There's a, there's, I don't know if I showed you, but there's this guy... Uh, there's probably about four guys, right? They have mullets and they, they always duet me. Yeah. And you go on their page them. and it's, like, a thousand, thousand, thousand. Then it's, like, fifty thousand. 70,000, but they have to tag me and duet me. And yeah. then they'll like tag me and they're trying to get me and they're just going, hey, bro, duet me back. I'm, saying, I'm not fucking duetting you back, bro. Like I've got like I've got my video with like 14.2 million. I don't need your followers coming over. And uh, I, saw, I saw the other day, uh, they all like, because it's like one video, because I had to turn off my notifications, bro. Because oh, I, I was getting so many. Uh, and then all my other videos were getting traction as well just because they're like, oh, some other guy doing other shit. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, yeah. And then it just becomes like a funny thing. Um, I, uh, I saw on their page, every chick that comments about the mullet, they'll like, like it and like, comment back to it whereas like i had girls like going like oh i can't believe like uh so so glad my parents uh oh my i can't believe my parents don't agree that these are the guys i fall for and that will be like in my um 
like in yeah. my comments and it's like i'm not going hey like oh like do you have Snapchat? Like, do add me on Snapchat. Like, he yeah. was, that's what he was doing. Yeah. He's like, oh, have you followed me back yet? Like, I followed you back just then. It's like, yeah, right, you're not yeah, even like a real right. bad looking dude. Like, why are you like, yeah, what are you, why, why, why are you simping, bro? Yeah, for, yeah, being a mad simp, eh? Yeah. Isn't it funny, though, how like just a haircut can literally like, and, and I'll, I'll preface that, a haircut, and your video was very funny. Like, mm. I remember seeing your video when you first posted it. Yeah. And I was like, fuck, that's heaps funny. Like, that's a real laugh. Yeah. And then seeing it hit the views. Yeah. I was like, holy fuck. Okay, yeah, I get this. I get why that went viral. But there's this rule, like, want, like in your comments and everything you post, like, bring back the mullet, bring back the mullet, that I've got a suggestion for you. Go, hit me. Two viral Aussie videos, one being yours. The other being that dude fighting off the kangaroo who tried to bash his dog. Yeah. I think you've got to fight a kangaroo with a mullet. I'll have to go down like down the coast or something like that. Go down the coast and just, I don't know, just like (coughs) start riling up a kangaroo. Imagine like doing this kind of stuff and getting like full fucked up. Like I was talking yesterday how I like (coughs) did the brushing one. I was just telling Brad before I like tried to make another video. Uh, well, I did make another video, but I tried to, like, use uh, one of those vacuums with, like, the spinny thing, like, that, like, <coughs> helps, like, uh, brush the floor as well. And I was, like, brushing my hair with it. And I tried to go the whole way through my hair, not just the top. And the back of my hair nearly got <laughs> torn out of my fucking skull. Have you seen videos of those chicks using, like, curling irons and shit? And then their hair just melts off? And their off? hair just, like, melts <laughs> off. Like they haven't on them for too long. Yeah. Or like, or I've seen one and it's like this, I kind of, I don't even know what she was using. I'm not good with that sort of stuff. But yeah. she's kind of like, it's it's sucked in like that vacuum would have to like curl it. Yeah. But just fully fucking rip the hair out of the back of her head. Oh, and she's like, bro. oh my fucking God. <laughs> like hilarious, eh? Hey? Imagine uh, that. <laughs> if my whole mullet just came out. Imagine just came it ripped out. my mullet out of my head. That That would be a viral video. And I filmed it too. I've got the video yeah. on my phone of it fucking ripping my hair. I swear to God. A few screams. Uh, I, just, I just went, ah, oh, fuck. And it went, it like went into the vacuum and went, and like stopped the motor from spinning because yeah. it ripped, ri- like obviously it couldn't keep spinning. Um, I've just like, because it stopped it. So I pulled it and it kind of just like unraveled. Yeah. Yeah, bro. But like, it was, uh, yeah, I was worried. That was scary. It fucking hurt my head. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, not doing that. And then I just did the mullet. Top. Mullet Lord loses full crop of hair. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> the vacuums yeah. come back stronger. <laughs> yeah, like came back. Like, yeah. oh man, shouldn't have bought like a more expensive vacuum. Eh? Like, yeah. The one that I used was like so cheap in the first one too. It was like Kmart one and shit. How do you yeah. feel like for now? Like we spoke a little bit about it. You've created a product, I guess. Pump the product a bit. Yeah. I also got um yeah I will I, I'm surprised I didn't even share it bro like, I haven't even shared the product yet I'm gonna share yeah. it. like it will be pretty funny um on my uh, on my page but I also so I got the black and white shirt and then a hat as well but the hats for some reason need to be approved so um yeah I got like Thoughts. a hat with the same uh, just quickly yeah go hats with a flap on the back that's a mullet. <laughs> Yeah, I'm an innovator, eh? The only thing with that is I know I would have to like go to a supplier and get a heat made up. Yeah. Whereas like the hat and the shirts that I've got at the moment, mm. look, if if these hat and shirts take off, bro, I'll use I'll put the money back into the production of the backflap hats. Yeah. That's a mullet. Alright, here's another question. Go. Okay. Hollywood celebrity hits you up and says, Hey, I've never been able to grow a mullet. Yeah. Will you hair transplant me? What price would would someone have to pay to get a, a transplant of the mullet from your head to theirs? <laughs> like, say, let's say fucking... Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy. Yeah, or yeah. even, let's go fucking Tyson Fury. Something like that. Not even, like, a Hollywood celeb. See, like, I, I, don't, I don't rate... I don't really watch boxing, eh? Okay. Yeah. I, I just feel like someone bald would be someone bald, right? Jason Statham. I was just about that. Jason I was like, in my head. You go, so Jason bald. Statham goes, hey, me and Guy Rich here filming another movie. And he wants me to rock a mullet. How much is he offering me? You, you. Uh, well, how much would you take? I don't know. Like he goes. They're big stars, bro. He goes, hey, I'll give you a hundred grand. No. Nah. I want to be a millionaire. Okay. Yeah, there's no so way. So a million. Yeah. 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 I would have to be, no, I would. I would want to. I don't want a million because the the day I spent the dollar, you're no longer a millionaire. It would have to be like five mil, I reckon. 
for one of those yeah, guys. Okay. I don't know. If he was like, I've never grown a mullet, all I want to do is grow yeah. a mullet. He's got the money, bro. Gotta get tax on that too, eh? He's got the money. I want cash, bro. Yeah, I want fine. cash. I don't want... It's not, none of this is like transfer yeah. into my... So we're back. Uh, sorry, guys. That was a bit of a delay there. The uh, camera died. We are just talking about how shitty these cameras are with only 30 yeah. minutes. Like, if anyone can recommend something that, like, lasts the whole time, I don't know if that's even a thing. My one does. The whole time? So yeah, you, you had a three-hour podcast. Um, it, it probably shuts off at 1.45. The, I think the only other option is, like, a broadcast or a camcorder. Yeah, right. A broadcast camera, which is probably expensive as... Yeah. But, um, or you know, like the old style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got like, like that. Same like we'll flip screen like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, back, um, what, what were we saying? For the P, like for the camera that missed. So we we're just talking about, oh yeah. I'm going to go ball eventually, I think. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. My, uh, like I look at like my, I look at my dad, right? And he was like, I had a full head of hair. And it was like, it was never thick. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I feel like mine's pretty like dense. Pretty dense, I guess. yeah. But it could just be like now dense and then it just got, starts going, you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. It's, it's a little bit scary because my head's a bit rank. So I'm like... What, the shape of your head? Yeah, just, I don't know, it's a bit round. So I feel like the hair, like the hair's a real play for me. Like if I went bored, I'd be a little bit worried. I've shaved my... Have you ever shaved your head before? Yeah, I, I did. Uh, so when I first had like long hair, like full, like down halfway down my back, I did world's greatest shave and shaved it like fucking zero. Yeah. yeah, I've done a I've done a point five all yeah. over. Yeah, um, one of my mates had leukemia at school. Yeah, so me and all the boys shaved our heads. It's <clears> pretty <throat> funny looking back because I remember we all went. We wanted to surprise him, and I actually had so long story short, I had dinner with Miranda Kerr the night before. So we scheduled it for the day after. <laughs> yeah, okay, right. Yeah, so, so you, like so a, you had a head yeah, a little, head yeah. So like I had some great photos with Miranda Kerr, yeah, and yeah. then the next day rocked up. And all the boys were shaving their heads. Yeah. <laughs> and like, it's so funny looking back because some of the boys just looks, I look bad, but some of the boys were bad, bad. atrocious. Like we yeah. just, I don't know. Like I don't have features for a shaved head. Yeah. I feel like my, my fade helps me get away with my face looking a little bit more shaved. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Bro, I think that's your, your own insecurities, eh, bro? You can't care too much about yeah, that bro, shit, I know, eh? I know. <laughs> That's full you, bro. I, know. I don't know. Yeah. Like, I reckon, I reckon everyone, I, I reckon, like, to, like, have no hair would be just, like, the natural look. Like, I think it would just grow on you eventually. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, for me, it growed on me a little bit. Um, and, I, like, I had a few moments where I just got a little bit frustrated with a full... Head of hair and just yeah. like, oh, fuck it, just shave it off. Yeah. But I always regretted it after, like regret of doom, just yeah. like, fuck, what have I done? Yeah. And then, but I've had some pretty bold haircuts, so. Yeah. I'm like, maybe I need to go back to a bold haircut for some yeah, it wouldn't take, well, like, look, it wouldn't take that long for your, uh, Mine grows so quick. Yeah, yeah. But just like, maybe I diet leopard again. Just all over? Green leopard all over <sighs> with a shaved head. I don't know. White leopard was... I liked white leopard. Snow leopard. That's coming a normal into leopard, bro. There's no green leopards. You're going to be the one green leopard, bro. That is true. Bro, come on. The green leopard. The green leopard. I feel like... A, what about a bumblebee? Bumblebee Yellow works. and black, yeah. Uh, tiger stripes? Tiger, yeah. <coughs> Zebra? Zebra. Or do I just go full grey and look mature? <laughs> I put like a silver fox, like just tinge in it. Yeah, just like... <laughs> Just make out. I, I always thought about that in real estate when I was in real estate. Yeah. Like, just Look looking like a mature up. agent, just <laughs> dyeing my hair grey. Like a nice deep grey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get you. Yeah. And just saying, oh, yeah, I've come to this appraisal late. The wife and kids are at home. Yeah, yeah, we're just going, how old are you? Yeah. It's like, we can see you dyed your hair yeah. silver. I'm like, 32. Like, they're like, it's, like got, running, it's like running down your neck. They're like, like you've it. got full brown regrowth coming through. <laughs> Oh man, for the virality, eh? Like, so good. You do what you got to do, man. It's a business. I I never thought like I was like, oh the the viral the viral video people just put out more viral videos. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I never thought. I don't know what I thought putting up that video. I was just like, I'm just gonna put another one up. I might get a hundred. Just trying to be, just trying to give people a laugh, hey. Yeah, pretty much. Like that's it. Like I yeah. think that's your personality, and that's probably why I've done so well because there was zero expectation. <sighs> It was, yeah, yeah. It's like one of the things they like, if you have expectation, then you have room to be disappointed. So I was just kind of like, oh yeah, that's fucking mad. And then I also had no expectation for how 
it was going to go after it either. So mm. I didn't really, like, it didn't bum me out that I didn't make money off it because everyone was like, how much money are you going to make? How's, how does it feel, though, like, being recognised for the thing that was just a decision one day and you got your mum to cut your hair? I was going to cut it off the next week, bro. Yeah, so how does it feel then to be recognised for that and not the fact that you've worked your ass off to be, like, extremely intelligent in the fitness space? I wouldn't call me extremely intelligent, bro. <laughs> um, oh, let, let, let's, let's go down that route, like, of uh, that story I told you about that Snapchat guy the other day. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, he, he sent me the video, yeah. It was, like, this guy, like... So, obviously, I'm a trainer, and then this guy who came from TikTok, followed me on Instagram <clears throat> and said, hey, bro, are you a, are you a trainer? Yeah. And I'm just like, fucking obviously, like, look at my profile. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and he goes, do you have Snapchat? And I was like, I was like, um, yeah. Um, and then before I, like, before I, like, told him what it was or anything, because he was like, oh, I, I need you to look at my technique. And I just go, I was like, I knew what was fucking coming. Like, because I've gotten contacted by, like, so many fucking gay dudes, like, yeah. this whole time. Like, so many of them. And um, heaps of them asking if I had an OnlyFans that I haven't put up and all that. But he's, like... So, he's added me on Snapchat from my TikTok because it was on there. And then I get a message on Snapchat saying, hey, this is Logan from from Instagram. I was talking to you on Instagram. I'm like, yeah. And he just sends was me Was his through. name Logan too? No, no, no. He, oh, just, okay. he just goes, is this Logan? Yeah. yeah. We're he, just giving him a name. Yeah, here, just, for, yeah I'm not. Uh, just to be discreet. No, 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 no. He said, he said to me, is this oh, Logan from Instagram? Because okay. he added me on Snapchat. He's okay, trying to confirm the, the link. I'm like, yeah. yeah, yeah. So Johnny Boy, <laughs> let's give him a name. Um, he... Uh, goes, oh, okay, like, I'm going to send you my te- technique, my squatting technique. And I didn't reply back to it. And then he just sends me this video of, like, sitting his phone, like, on the ground. For those of you who are on the video, like, it must have been, like, tilted like that, but sat on the ground. And he was just bare ass, and he just squats, like, directly, like, asshole facing the camera oh. and does it. And then I just go, I just write back, I just go, Thanks for ruining my fucking day. <laughs> and I, blo- I blocked him, blocked him so that he couldn't send me any more videos. And then I went over to Instagram, blocked the account. He, he must have another Snapchat and... He's got a burner um, account. A burner account. And he just messages me, he goes, sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. I was trying to show you my technique. And I'm just going, Bruh, like, fuck Bro, that ship sailed now, eh? I can't. Send me bare ass squad of videos, yeah, like, eh? Fuck you, man. Like, yeah. fuck you, like, legit. So, yeah, I don't, uh, yeah, so that, like, it just, I don't know. Like, they, they kind of, like, know I'm in fitness, but, like, that's not the thing they want to see. Yeah. I, I guess some of them do. Like, there's a couple of people, like couple, like couple of people who follow me, and they're like, "Oh, like, do you have any more like workout videos?" I actually sold, so I had like my cross building 1.0 program. Yeah. The last two weeks, over the last fortnight, I've sold seven copies of that. Like, yeah. The, like, okay. So the and, and it's from people who followed me, and I know I, I like I keep an eye out the people that followed me because I like. When I was getting all those follows, I'm like looking through and I'm like, oh yeah, like don't know that person. You want to kind of go like, oh, any hot chicks like following you back and like stuff like that. You're giving yeah. them a follow back or whatever. Um, so I kind of like had an idea of them, of the people that were following me. Then a couple of people followed me and asked me about training, like properly asked me about training. And they um, obviously have like gone through and a few of them were the people who like followed me on that bought the ebook for 20 bucks yeah. so like sold like seven copies of that over the last two weeks and that, so yeah. that was pretty cool like um but hopefully from this as well like i have those people who bought the cross building 1.0 and then they now go over and maybe get my weekly online programming through my business well that yeah that could be, be the benefit right? week, yeah. that could be the benefit yeah. and you know so like it's fair so it's fair to say you don't want anyone sending you bare ass squatting vids on Depends Snapchat. Who, Depends who. Depends who. <laughs> so like, to the male Miranda popu- to the, yeah, yeah, to the male population. Yeah, yeah. No bare ass squatting videos. No <clears throat> planking videos of you planking on top of your dick. No. Nobody wants to see that. Um, can I can I put something out there? Right? Yeah. So, I get a lot of DMs from gay dudes on Insta, right? Yeah. Now. I can see why though. 
don't know. I don't know. So sometimes I question whether maybe I'm giving the wrong vibe. Well, man, you know, I'm like, so, I get... Sometimes I'm like, oh, look, I haven't tried it yet. Like, yeah. Maybe I will like yeah. it. Yeah. Heaps of them try and say that to you too. They like, yeah. they like, I get it. And I'm just like, bro, I'm not getting. They go, you don't even know yet. You haven't tried. And I just go, listen, bro, come on, like, chill out, yeah. chill out, chill, bro. Relax. So what, what's your burner account? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So what I find funny, right, is, and look, I want to preface this by saying, I, I love the the gay community, whatever community you're from. So you do whatever, love it, bro. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> I'm like, I just had a, a great podcast with someone who doesn't like to be identified, but he's, you know, I guess technically on paper, he's bisexual, Hugh Sheridan, yeah. Aussie entertainer, great bloke, amazing bloke, yeah. engaged to a dude, yeah. full respect. If that's your thing, do what makes you happy, vibe with it. I just get, I get the shits when like, even anyone, if it's a chick, like I had a chick hit me up on Instagram once and it gave me the shits because she hits me up with like a, hey, how are you? And I'm like, and see, I try to respond to everyone on DMs, right? Because mm-hmm. I'm like, I don't, I don't know what's next. Maybe it's, hey, how are you? And I go, I'm great. Thanks yourself. And they go, oh, oh amazing. <laughs> just listened to your podcast and thought it was amazing. It changed my life. Like yep. that could be a DM, right? Yeah, yeah. And so this chick was like, um, I'm like, yeah, I'm good. Thank you yourself. And she's like, yeah, I'm good. Just getting in the shower. Lol. Want to see me naked? And uh-huh. I'm like, she's from here, bro. Oh, and I'm wait, like, so you like know her now? No, I don't know her, but I know she's from the gong because she's got like heaps of mutuals and like. Oh, wait. Like, yeah. Oh, so it's not like a burner account. No, no, no you know. No. Is it like it's. Oh, uh, you need to show me. <laughs> yeah, I'll show you after. Yeah, after, after. And I'm like, and I'm like, no. Because <laughs> I'm like, I wasn't attracted to her. And that's not. You know, what, like, bro? Not, you know what, you know what, you know what might come after that? Not you, but like, yeah. you know what might, might follow that, bro? You're just like, yeah, and then you open it up, you're like facing the camera, like ready to look, and then it's just her friends going, oh my god, you crazy! <laughs> yeah. Bro, you don't know! But the thing is, she kept hassling me. Yeah, like, yeah, I yeah. kept getting messages, and I was like, yeah. like st- stop hassling him. But then I get, I get some gay guys, bro, and they're... Man, they're like savages in the DMs. Mm. Like, I don't know what it is. I don't know if there's just like no shame. I don't know if it's an unspoken rule in that community bro, that you just go ham think, in the DMs. Just think about what guys like are to chicks, bro. You're the chick of their DM. They still got like, yeah, they, they still got testosterone, yeah. bro. Yeah, I get that. They're still full of testosterone. Because I've they're had ready, some, they're trying to fuck you. I've had some and I'm like, dude, you got to stop. Yeah, yeah. Like, can you fucking yeah. take a I don't want to block you, but bro. I will. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm like... like it's, it's obvious I've not replied to your last 20 messages. Nothing's yeah, yeah, yeah. changed. Yeah, yeah. Like, and, and I've just had some, and they're, bro, they're brutal. They're yeah. a little bit full on, so yeah, I, got, yeah. I, I get it, man. And a couple of my mates get the messages too. Bro, so. you got to say, like, how do, how do chicks feel? You feel like a chick. That's how they, bro. Can you I, sa- I said to a couple of my, my close chick mates, I'm like, it makes me, like, think twice about ever DMing a chick because yeah, I'm yeah. like, it can be creepy as. Mm. Yeah, for sure. Like, like, there's something about, like, I think there's a real way now, like, with Instagram and so many people using the DMs to slide in. Yeah. You've got to handle it very delicately. (laughs) Yeah. Like, I think, I reckon the go-to now is react to a story. Yeah. Yeah. I, um, the, uh, react to a story and, like, like three photos or some shit. I don't know. Yeah. React to a story, like their earliest photo, and follow their mum on Instagram. Best move. (laughs) <laughs> Relationship advice from yeah. Bradley Driver. Yeah. <laughs> take that. If you take anything from this podcast, guaranteed take that. success. <laughs> like... Guaranteed success. Right, works, that's going to be a clip. Uh, works sixty percent of the time, one hundred percent of the time. <laughs> <laughs> that's so good. Oh fuck! Where? How did we get to that? I've got no idea. You don't have any I idea. I think it's. Right? I think it's. Oh, we were talking about. People flowing from your TikTok into streams of income. Oh, yeah, and like definitely that wasn't a stream of income. But no. look, the the guy, the reason I gave him a chance, I thought it was a young guy. I yeah. thought it was like young, and I was like, oh, maybe he doesn't know how to like mm. interact with like. He might be fanning out. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I was the, I was the viral guy. Like, yeah. oh, can, can I get your Snapchat? That's how I talk to my friends. Like, you know what yeah. I mean? So I like gave it a chance, and then um, yeah, when he said that, I was just like, fuck you, man. <laughs> but uh, you got it. And yeah. you got to think, like, imagine if he's sitting, he's sitting, <laughs> imagine he's sitting at home and he goes, man, I just want some technique advice. Like, yeah. his missus goes, what's wrong? And he's like, I don't know, man. I, don't I think just he's sent, missus, bro. Yeah, he's like, I sent, <laughs> I sent Logan some a question, man. I just want to know how to squat better. Yeah. Damn. And she's like, 
oh, you put your pants on. He's like, oh, fuck, I didn't even realise. <laughs> <No. that." laughs> I didn't even realise. Yeah. Oh, fuck it. So, that's so embarrassing. Yeah. I just got out of the shower. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but look man like um yeah nothing <clears throat> nothing substantial has come of it yet um yeah. virality is such a weird thing because now i'm like known as the mullet guy like that's the thing you've got to own that a little bit now yeah well you know what you know what it's better than being you know <clears throat> this is good people like go like talk about the mullet now you know what it used to be bro i'd go out and everyone's like, does that fit your fucking macros, bro? Like, oh, is that, does that fit your macros? Yeah. And I'm just going, shut the fuck up. Like, yeah. like people, like that, that, that kind of irks me a bit. Like, like some of my, like my close mates don't even like try and rip on me like that. And I'll see, I'll see someone that I haven't seen in fucking like five years. Mm. Um, I never was really mates with them. And then they'll be like, oh, does that fit your macros? And like, go, ha ha ha. And like, try and like be your mate. And I'm just like, can yeah. I fuck off? Like, <laughs> like, like. Yeah, bro, like, I, don't worry, I make sure it fits. Like, yeah. I don't know. Man, yeah, what, like, what, what response do you want from that? You yeah, usually, I mean? usually they're pissed. They're, like, it's yeah. super, like, super annoying. That, that's what stopped me going out for a while, man, because, like, I, I would be, like, out, and then you see these people, like, you, you know people, like, you know people that don't follow you, right? People yeah. that you know that don't follow you. And you're like, okay, like if you don't like my content, all well and good. But then they'll come up to me when I'm out and be like, bro, I've been meaning to message you. Like, I need to start a program. Like, what do you reckon I should be doing? I just go, and or they go, oh, I've seen you open your new gym, and I go, I know you don't follow me, bro. Yeah, yeah I know, yeah. I know they don't. Yeah, because I know, like, I yeah, because I, I get what you mean, bro. I get what you mean. And it's just like it's just like, just because you fucking might have racked up a bit yeah. and you're feeling a bit confident or you've had a couple too many yeah. beers and then you come over to me and you fucking come over to me and my friends try and enjoy something and you want to talk mm. about my work yeah m my favorite one is i get the real estate coaches yeah. that hit me up on facebook always on facebook messenger yeah hey brad how's business been the last 12 months and i'm like fucking shit mate because i'm not a real estate agent anymore <laughs> i'm like yeah. You've, you've literally not invested any time in checking. Yeah. You've purely come over here to try and transact a sale. Yeah. It's like you can see, like Gary Vee says, like, yeah. don't fucking right hook from, from the beginning. Throw yeah. a few jabs first. And yeah. it's like, you can just tell. And yeah. I'm like, that's what shits me. Yeah. I'm like, don't make it. And they ask you, like, how's things? How's life? Oh, and how's business going? I'm like, you don't care because you haven't checked. Yeah. <laughs> you haven't checked. I know you're not investing. What, look at my last three posts. Yeah. And just be like, bro, I just saw... Look, if he, he just goes, oh, bro, I just, like, scrolled through your fucking reels for 45 seconds. Three reels. Yeah. And, no, like, saw that you, like, interviewed this person. Fuck, was that all right? Like, it looks like you're going pretty yeah, well. Exactly. Like, I don't know. Like, you like, I, um, care, man. I, I threw a bit of clickbait out there yesterday after oh, we spoke about it. it. Yeah. It. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it got you a lot piece of people. Of shit, it bro. got a lot of people, eh? <laughs> it's, um, you know, 12 months out of real estate. And I thought, you know, I want to... I guess a little salute yeah. to, to 12 months because 12 months out of anything yeah. is like it's behind you now. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I'm like, if you were out of a relationship for 12 months or like you'd been, you'd change your fitness over the course of 12 months, it's like you've formed a, a new life now. So I thought I'm going to put a little post up. Yeah. And I just thought, oh, this will get the people going because there was a lot of, there was a bit of a tension around my post when I announced I was leaving because, like, I'd put a lot of time and effort into building my career yeah, up. You were the greasy real estate. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was kind of, yeah, yeah. I was kind of the young buck, you know, <coughs> the yeah, black yeah. sheep, you yeah. know, the rogue agent. <laughs> um, I'm pumping myself up here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and so I put that up and I just shared my post to my story and I just said, um, going back to real estate yeah. or going back to my real estate career. Yeah. I just meant looking back. Yeah. It's, I, I can't help how people take it. <laughs> so many messages like, oh my God, did not see this coming. Yeah, did and not then, see this and coming, then like or two seconds you? later, they <laughs> click on the post and they're like, you're a prick. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, got them all. So good how they like, don't even look at a, yeah, uh, yeah, at a thing. Yeah. But um, yeah. You just Same as I put one up the other day. I put that video up with my empty Powerade bottle. Yeah, oh, what was that? Okay, I, I, I kind of like looked at that a bit, but I, yeah. I, I try not to watch too many yeah. stories. Yeah, so I put up a thing and it was like... You get 15 um, cents for it? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah. So I put up a thing and I said, um, I've just... I just want, uh, what did I say? I said like, 
Um, exciting news. Um, yeah. I've just signed a partnership with Woolworths Australia. Um, I said with Woolies Australia. So as an extension of their return and earn system, which is where like you give your bottles and your cans back, yeah, you yeah. get 10 cents. Yeah. Um, you can now return your used Powerade or Gatorade bottle, yeah. return 15 cents. And yeah. what replenish your electrolytes today can be cut up and used by Stoner tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and then the same, like it cut off just before that. Yeah. And that was the second story. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, so all of you athletes, you can help the Stoner community. Yeah, yeah. And what was your electrolytes today can be lit up by them tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Like, and so many people seen the first 15 seconds were like, oh, congrats, bro. Partnership with Woolies, that's huge. Yeah, that's how much I Watch the second idiot. story yeah, and they're like, like fuck. Yeah, yeah. I see, I, I, I like, actually was like, that, that's me. Like, I kind of like went through it. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. And then I like, yeah. went to the next story. But like, I didn't really say you didn't. Yeah. I was like, I thought you yeah, fucking actually did. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, no. yeah. But Woolies, hey, Woolies, if you want to. <laughs> yeah. Jump on board. Yeah, Woolies. Jump on uh, yeah, you're probably listening, so yeah. just make sure you... Yeah, yeah the CEO over. of Elise is definitely <laughs> listening to this. Look, Him, And the CEO you. of Coles, just to figure out who can get the edge. Yeah, or if you... Um, it'll be like a silent option, so just put it in your yeah, best number. Right? Yeah. But yeah, so let's... Uh, I, I don't know. Let's uh, wrap this up, because uh, I'm yeah. not going to go on too long. Uh, what, what do you think is the... Uh, I've got an idea. What, what, what do you think is the algorithm? Like, it might not be... What, what, what's a what's a couple of things you think that is required for virality? I think strong immediate energy. Yeah. Like all my best videos on TikTok and IG have been like really raw filmed like videos where it's like you can capture what's happening in that image straight away. It's like yeah. a strong presence which makes people stop. Yeah. And then I just think something unique, something that most people either can really relate to or are very curious about. Yeah. And I think there's a level of curiosity where most people will never rock a mullet because their missus or their mum won't let them. Mm. And I think that's probably what made you stand out. Yeah. Also, I think if you hit that American <clears throat> yeah. TikTok algorithm, Full deal, yeah. straight away they're like, that's an Aussie. Yeah. You yeah, can yeah, tell. Yeah, yeah. They love Aussies. It's like, it's like, the, um, it's like the male fake tits, eh? It is. Yeah, like the male or, or the male ass, or like, well, men have asses, but like the 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 male female ass. Yeah. The, yeah, the male. Let's go also, with the male fake like, tits, eh? Hey, it also, like, you know what it is, and this is why I think women like it, right? Mm. It's just hear me out here. Yeah. It's commitment. Oh, it's fucking commitment. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like you've you've been patient with that. Yeah, yeah. You've what you've gone through that stage where maybe it didn't look amazing. It was just starting to get a little bit curly and ratty on the ends. Yeah, yeah. But you're able to be patient with that phase and, and respect that phase. Yeah. And sometimes a missus can, can go a little bit nuts for a minute. Yeah, yeah. And you've been patient with her. Yeah. You've seen that out. Yeah. And now things are long and things are exciting mm. and it's really blossomed and it's quite beautiful. And you're mm. at that stage and I think they go, that's a man who can stick out a relationship just the way he sticked out that mullet. It's a man that can give me kids and fuck off after yeah. a day. Like, just yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, he's the type of guy that's going to say he's going up the servo for smokes and never that, come up. <laughs> that was, oh, bro, that was uh, one of the things. I had a lot of DMs saying, have my ginger mullet babies. Yeah. So they think I like, uh, they reckon I look like a redhead in it. Oh, really? Yeah. I think it was the lighting. Yeah. I don't know. I've got, if, I grow my, if I grow my beard out, which I like never do. Yeah, um, I get ratty it gets ginger. A bit, it gets a little bit of uh, ginger in it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that was, uh, that was probably my, the other, okay. So that was like one of them, the ginger, the curl, the curl got like a hundred thousand likes. The curl, the, the curl the got comment, some The comment good, got a hundred thousand yeah. likes. That's so huge. That curl at the end. Um, and then they reckon I look like this anime character called Gene. 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 I've never heard of Gene. Never heard of him. I'm going to search but that. But there right is, now. there is so many. How do many, I spell that? They're like J-E-A-N. Um... I'll just go Gene Anime. That's what, see, that's what I try. And I, I swear I couldn't find... Bro, fight. it's got... Is that it? Surely not. So I think he, like... Because they were like... Yeah, I think it is him, eh? I'm pretty sure it is. Really? Gene, anime, let's go... I think it's like... How, this is how Gene does his hair. They, like, frost it. There's so many people saying it, bro. Oh, I don't, yeah, bro, I don't know about that. I know, bro, come on. 
Yeah, I don't know. He's got like a bit of a... You're like... You reply to the comment and you're like... So listen. Where do I find Gene Anime? And they're like, oh, just in the anime section on Pornhub. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're like... I'm just going to that's what you watch. Wait, how, how do yeah, people so get yeah, around so that? Like, I, I couldn't get around that. What? Like watching anime porn. Anime porn? I couldn't um, get around that, eh? That's weird to me. Bro, I've some, never looked at some weird porn. Eh? <laughs> I've never looked at a cartoon <laughs> and just thought. Have, have you ever sat back? Either. Have you ever? Have you ever? <laughs> we're going off on a tangent again. <laughs> um, have you ever sat back and like? It's so much have, have you? Have you ever like? This is going to be a clip too. It's going to be great. Um, this is going to be great viral. I reckon. Yeah. Have you ever either sat down and just watched porn like a movie? without touching your dig and just like watched it for what it is or or after you finish watch a different video back and just go who the fuck am I <laughs> you know like you watch something back and you're just like in the moment you're just going fuck this is that hot eh and then like after it you're just going I'm such a piece of shit for watching this <laughs> um, um, I've never I've never watched it just for the cinematic no, experience really yeah not, not, not the angle I'm, than that like no you're, you're... i'm going in there with a purpose <laughs> like i'm just like i'm going in there with a yeah definitely the purpose, with a purpose. Is knowledge of uh what to do if yeah. you ever got caught uh with your uh stepsister in stuck in the washing machine <laughs> if i was ever my, my if man, i was ever a doctor what about my <laughs> or and, a fireman yeah or anything like that or a plumber or a policeman yeah, yeah. um <laughs> Shout out to Johnny Sinzo. Hey? Yeah. Uh, we were talking about that yesterday. The boys actually were saying through COVID and yeah, how there yeah. was like everyone was praising essential workers as we should have been absolute legends. Yeah, yeah. But there was one post and it was like a meme and it goes, shout out to the essential workers. And it was like, and especially shout out to this guy. And it was like, um, this guy's a hero. Yeah. He's, a, he's a firefighter. And it Doctor, shows him like with these yeah, tips, trade, and tips yeah. and that. <laughs> yeah. So good. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, that's funny, man. He does cameo because a couple of the um the barber shop I go to, yeah, the boys were talking about how funny it would be to get a Johnny Sins cameo, like yeah, a yeah. shout out. I, I've seen it done yeah. for someone locally. Someone yeah. did it. Someone got it done. Um, but yeah, you just gotta watch it sometimes for that cinematic like kind of. That's what I do. Just like after yeah. I'm done, just like go through and find it. Break a, down the scenes. Yeah, break down the scenes. See how they yeah. it actually was achieved. Oh, that's what I was gonna say. I, I started saying to like my missus like every now and then just go, what are you doing, step bro? And she was like, what is that? Like got cut because like she didn't know what it was. I just go, what do you mean? You don't know what it is. Yeah. And I just go, I just go like in porn. It's so, like, uh, then they go like, what are you doing, step bro? And it's yeah. like, oh, I'm stuck in the washing machine. Are you going to help yeah. me get out? And it's yeah. like, they got their ass out or whatever. And she goes, I, that's not a thing. And I just go, I can guarantee. <laughs> I like, I go, I go. She's got a couple of clients who are like younger as well. I go, just go in and go, what is, what are you doing, step bro, mean? And she went there and they fucking all knew what it was. And I was yeah. like, you are so out of the yeah. loop. Babe. You're such a boomer. Right? <laughs> she, she is a boomer, right? Is she, yeah, is she yeah. going She's, straight uh, to the VCR? Yeah. Is she going straight to the VCR to put in the old porn <laughs> Oh, time? yeah, pretty close, eh? <coughs> but, um, no, nah, she's uh, she's good, but uh, it was just funny because I was like, what are you doing, step bro? It's That's like funny, stuck yeah. in the washing machine. And then I saw this one. Um, wasn't Trevor Wallace, it was the guy who was in that in that clickbait video with them this morning, you know, yeah, the one guy with yeah. the black hair, yeah. and he was doing it, and he's like, on the, actually, no, he was on the phone to Trevor Wallace, and he's like going, um, hey, it was an emergency, um, my, my, step, my stepsister's stuck in the washing machine, and the guy, and he just, Trevor Wallace goes, oh, what are you going to do, step bro, are you gonna, how are you going to get her out, you're going to fuck her out, and he's just going, what are you talking about, she's actually stuck in there, and then like, he ends up just going, ah, oh, and freaking out at the end, and like, uh, like, going away and then she goes out and she like just gets out and just goes damn it I really thought he was going to fuck me this time <laughs> so and they're good. In a, like they're in a like washing machine like the opening is like so big and then they're yeah. just like I'm stuck in here and yeah. it's like pull his dick out like oh it's so fuck those things bro <laughs> and you know how like there's like a massive thing at the moment with like like the step bro, the step mum, it's like it's like one relationship away from being the actual sister, and it's like the most like yeah, search porn like yeah. fucking ever. It's the most like if it's one relation away, it's the most fucked thing ever. <laughs> but somehow that's the like the one relation away is the most viral thing. It's so odd, eh? Where did it come from though? That's my thing. Like people that who want thought, to... who thought, oi, how funny would it be if? 
this dude's just walking through his house and his fucking stepsister got stuck in the coffee table. Fuck, that's a great They like got their hand like stuck. Like, I yeah. can't get out. Oh, yeah. you're going to have to fuck me out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Funny shit. Funny ass. Uh, yeah, we'll have to do some more research on that and uh, yeah. come back for a podcast. Speak to it. some producers. But uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's cut it short. Cut it, cut it short here. It's been like yeah. fucking nearly <laughs> Probably an hour, hour, hour yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, thanks for listening, guys. And uh, till next time, catch us later. Catch us. Catch us. Catch us. Catch us.